So this is the garage. <laughs> This is my first vlog style video. I put the question out to my members on our member tab to see if that's something that they were interested in. And 70% that answered said yes. So this is definitely the first time I'm trying to do it. So what I'm going to do in this vlog is show you what it's like to balance working full time from home during the pandemic and the things that I need to do to get the stuff done in the ambulance, to do my live streams, to maintain my YouTube channel. Does anyone remember this old propane stove in a previous video? I bought it, it was yucky yellow, I painted it red, but I decided against installing it. But I'm still going to keep it in case I change my mind again. Um, you can see I've done some insulating in the garage on the walls and the roof and plastic. And most of the walls have the um, drywall put on. It's It was a work in progress before I bought the ambulance. So it's kind of gone on hold for now. So when I've been working on downsizing everything in my house um, and building the ambulance, I try to reduce the amount I have to spend and buy and upcycle and recycle things that I have at home. So any of you that know, before I got the bed put in permanently in the ambulance, I used an old kitchen table that I hadn't gotten rid of yet. This was the leaf from it, which is now because I saved it and it's good. I'm gonna use it for some of my shelving. that I really love it the fact that I could saw a little bit off of each side and then lift it up and karate chop it shows me that this is not gonna be strong enough last night was an amazing live stream we ended up doing a subathon for mo bang for your bucks and he hit his 1k and tim i am so happy for you if you guys haven't checked out his channel i'll have it linked in the description below i got to welcome tons of new members that was so awesome so today i needed to take some time to write down who the new members are and add them to my stream element spot so that they can drop their channel links if they're a channel creator i updated my community tab posts that I do in advance so that I have thank yous twice a week to my members. Those that upgraded to the second tier membership, I have to put a logo on my background. I spent some time trying to make some new GIFs because those were a lot of fun and I would like to have some more of them just to keep the live streams a little more interesting. I did do some work this week on putting some new curtains in the ambulance. I wanted to brighten things up a little bit. I've kept everything very um, black, white, and silver looking, but I wanted some more red in there because red is my favorite color. And I'm really happy that I did that. I moved in my batteries. I bought some batteries that are over a hundred pounds each. And boy, I tell you, they were hard to move. But I figured out the way to get them to fit in the space that I wanted perfectly. Now these are used batteries. They're 180 amp hours each. Those are heavy, but I gotta tell you, I feel like a freaking rock star right now. Oh, my measurements all worked exactly. Take a look at this. That is sweet. That is so perfect. And I have a little bit of room down in the edge to insulate around the outer perimeter. They all fit in there. Yes. But they're probably only functioning at about 70%. 
Either way, if they all are at least 70%, the three batteries will provide more power storage than my old system did because my old system only had a total of 160 amp hours you can only go down to 50 percent so really that only left me 80 usable amp hours so i'm really glad that i did my own solar power system because changing those batteries meant that i had to undo everything and redo it all um, it wasn't that bad though. I'm glad that I have the working knowledge of the system. I do need to get a voltmeter to test a couple wires. Um, I do need to test the wire to the diesel heater because it is not working no matter if I wire it directly to the battery, if I put it through my 12 volt fuse block, it's not working. So I'm just gonna have to play with that a little bit um, that wire does kind of run across the bed underside in the ambulance, so I might have bumped something and caused some damage with that wire in the cold, but I'll get that worked out yet. I'm not really worried about it at all. So today is one of those days where I'm going to putz around the house, I'm going to get the dishes done, I'm going to do the laundry, all those things to get ready for work first thing in the morning. It has been a relief already not to be doing my Monday night lunch. I enjoy every minute with everyone, but doing live streams three times a week while trying to learn to make videos and editing, um, it becomes a bit much when I'm already working 40 hours a week. I found that I wasn't leaving the house and doing anything that I enjoyed. wasn't even coming out to, to the garage on any kind of regular basis to tinker around and do the things that I really love to do. So I'm really glad that I'm sticking to the Wednesday night interviews and the two hours on Saturday nights that are so much fun. I'm gonna keep doing the panels. That's what I love the most. And so...